In other news, Russia's gas monopoly Gazprom has cut off all natural gas supplies to neighbor Ukraine after both sides failed to settle a contract dispute. The talks broke down over payments for past gas shipments and a new energy price contract for 2009. Li Xiang has more. Russia made good on its threat to cut off all natural gas supplies to Ukraine on Thursday. Starting from 10 in the morning, gas deliveries for Ukraine have been cut down by 100 percent, that is 110 million cubic meters per day. The decision came after much negotiation between Russia and Ukraine over gas prices. On Wednesday, Russia's Gazprom offered a contract with gas prices set at 250 U.S. dollars, but Ukraine balked at the price hike. The Russians proposed that the price for Russian gas should go up to 30 percent, so it is logical to propose that our Ukrainian transit prices must therefore also go up. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian president offered Russia a gas price at 201 U.S. dollars per 1,000 cubic meters of gas, along with a higher transit fee of 2.2 dollars. But Russia then took an even tougher stance, raising gas prices to 418 U.S. dollars. Because Ukraine has rejected our offer to supply gas to it in 2009 at a reduced price of 250 U.S. dollars, Gazprom will deliver gas to Ukraine at the European market price of 418 U.S. dollars per 1,000 cubic meters as of January this year. The negotiating continues later on Thursday. Ukraine raised its offer to 235 U.S. dollars, along with a transit fee of 1.8 dollars. The Ukrainian president says he is confident a compromise deal will be reached early this month. I think we are close to compromise decision, and I would like to Russian president and Russian prime minister, as well as the Ukrainian side, at a working level, taking part in the talks with their colleagues at Gazprom, to do everything they can to complete these talks as soon as possible. As the talks proceed with an unforeseeable outcome, the Ukrainian gas company Naftogaz assured citizens they would not be left without gas this winter. But the company also confirmed a steady drop in supplies, especially after the cutting gas supplies by Russia leaves Ukraine with 30 percent less of its source of natural gas. Lisa, CCTV.